Happy holidays! So here I am back with a recipe. Haven't done one of those videos in a while. I am making this the first time I'm making this for Christmas. Even though I'm not religious, I uh, anyway, it's family dinner, you know how it is, some of you out there. So hello also to my new subscribers and old and people who see this video, my videos, thank you so much and I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's super easy to make. Not only is it really nutritious, which I'll talk about some of the benefits really quick, but while I'm making it, um, but it's really delicious. That's the important part. I got inspired from this recipe from working on a TV show this year, and one of the substantials they gave was a raw, not raw, was a carrot ginger soup. And it was so good. I was just like, there has to be a raw version of this because I didn't know if they used dairy or not. I'll... So I wanted to find one that um, was easy to make, and I'm going to link the recipe that I got this inspired from down below. But this recipe is easy. You will need a young coconut, which you can usually buy at an Asian market, like a Chinatown area of your city, or source it out. This was $2. Super cheap. Really good. Coconut has electrolytes. It's like the end thing. Though You can get electrolytes from greens and other things, too. Just saying. But, um, yeah. Also, carrots. Going to be a carrot ginger soup. And I'm going to give you the exact measurements down below. And also, while I'm making it, some ginger. This is a small piece. Some onion. I happen to be using today, I have used different kinds. I've made this a few times. This is a red onion. You're not going to need that much. You can also use garlic. I'm leaving it out today because I just don't feel like it today. That's pretty much it. Let's get started. So, opening a coconut may seem extremely daunting. I'm linking a video down below that is super awesome. This guy's called OK Raw. He shows you how to open a raw co uh, coconut, young coconut, with a butter knife. So I've only done this five times. You have to be careful because, I don't know if you can see, but there, I cut myself. I don't, because uh, I wasn't careful. So watch where you're cutting. Yes, and these are my pajamas down below. I don't love Nightmare Before Christmas, but just a side note, this is not pajamas. These are, not that it matters. Okay, let's go on. So let's open the coconut. It's better if you leave the plastic on. He explains it in the video, but can cut away from you. Um, first you want to gonna remove the husk, so just cut down, just really hard. Cut, cut, cut. Okay. I'm gonna show you in the camera what I've cut to. You will see the nut part, which is why it's called coconut here. Do you see? Well, let me cut a little more off on this side so you can see it a bit better, but as you'll see there's little ridges like on the angle. You want to find one between the two and you're going to stick your knife in like this. Hit it really hard on the top, like with the palm of your hand, go like that once hard. There we go, you're in. Now the easy part. as John from OK Raw says you take it like this and you just rock it back and forth like a motorcycle. Yes, so you'll see it's open. Hooray, I'm gonna try so it doesn't spill out. See how it is if it's fresh. Mmm, yep. Mm, I eat coconut also more for health benefits. I'm not going to say I love the taste of coconut water. I think it's good. I'm not like, oh my god, that's the... I know it's a fad and really in right now. There's my air quotes in. Uh, right, so... Now you are going to... Just... Here's my... You can put it in uh, either high speed... Blender, like the Vitamix or Blendtec, I don't have either of those, so I'm putting it in a food processor. So I'm first going to, just so I don't spill any of this, because I'm a little paranoid, I'm going to pour the coconut water in. You can usually strain this, but I find it still tastes fine, so I don't. There we go. Okay. This is what you're supposed to do. I did it in the wrong place. It's supposed to pop up like that. 
you can see, here's the raw coconut meat. Oh my god, it's really good. Yum. Next, you're going to spoon out the coconut, which I'm about to show you. Spoon helps. And you just literally take the coconut, and you spoon out the, they call it the meat. Here you go. And just put it in the blender. You can put as much or as little as you like. I use it all. And it makes it taste really good, and it's really good for you. Some good fats, coconut. Yum. Much better than buying coconut water in a... You could buy coconut water in a, like, a raw coconut, you know, I don't know, butter, I guess, instead. But the taste and the nutrient level is much better when you do it like this. Like that bottle, coconut, I tried it on set not at all the same taste and that stuff's flash pasteurized the stuff you buy in the in the stores like the one coconut i think it's called don't waste your money it costs the same as this i mean look how much this has given from one coconut in this serving will be for one or two people by the way that's how much coconut water i got from one coconut for two dollars versus think of what you get in the stores in those tetra pack those like you know, boxes where it's crap. Anyway, well, it's not crap, but you get the idea. Okay, now you want a cup of carrots. Um, three carrots, I find, is usually it. These are like three medium size. I'm using organic. You don't have to use organic. Um, I don't eat all organic fruits and vegetables, but I find carrots and apples are the one vegetables that, like, I notice a huge difference in taste if it's organic. I So I'm using organic carrots. And the price difference is not much, so... That's why. So I'm just gonna chop it up roughly. So here, like, so just chop the carrots up roughly. Just in small pieces. All right, so it was about two medium to large carrots. So here we go, cup of orange goodness right into the food processor. Next, we are going to use half of an avocado. Okay, so make it really creamy and it's just really good. And I'm saving the other half for making a raw, not a raw, whatever, guacamole for myself later. So I'm going to take, take that one for later, for time. And you just sort of, you know, take the avocado out. The onion. Yeah, I'm going to do onion. So my family is... There are some people that are really sensitive to onion. I'm using wax paper to cut the red onion. I don't use very much onion. I find the taste. This red onion is my favorite onion, but just a little bit. Again, I'm barely using... Again, you can use as much onion or garlic as you'd like to your taste. I'm not even going to use that much. I'm going to use probably about this much onion. Like that. It. That's it and put that in. I find that's sufficient for me. So I'm just going to give it a quick chop. Just sort of slice it. Okay, next. We're almost done. Now we do the ginger. Again, that's also to your taste. I'm going to put a bit more in than I usually do because I find I don't put enough and I like the taste of ginger in things. This is fresh ginger. Ginger it is amazing. Ginger is so good for you. It's good for you when you're sick. It's good for your digestion. It's good for your skin. It's good for so many things. And this is so cheap. This costs like 10 cents for this. All right, so I added a bit more ginger to it to make it taste uh, the perfect balance now. Again, I'm going to taste it. Mmm. It's perfect now. It has the right amount of ginger, has the right amount of carrots, onion. It's totally balanced flavor. It's creamy, but it's, it's hydrating. It's delicious. It's nutritious. It's easy to make. No pots or pans. You could heat this up if you wanted to need it, but why? Oh, so this is how much you get. This is a crazy amount. This bowl is very deep. Look inside. And you still have... So again, I don't think I'm going to be able to... There I am. And there's also this much left. I'm going to show you. I really do love it. Because it's like... You never see them actually taste the food in a lot of recipes. Mmm. Yum. No package, 
No box food. Everything is fresh down to nature in its own package on its own. No, <coughs> no ingredient list, no gluten, no nothing. Just fresh, pure nutrients. That makes you feel good. Because that's what food should do is fuel you. Have a wonderful happy holidays, everyone. Bye-bye. Have fun.